Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me today for this recording or Facebook Live. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is reading The Great Trash Bash by Laureen Leedy. Uh, but before I do that, we're going to discuss a little bit about the Solid Waste Authority. So, hello again. My name is Dawn Perez and I'm one of the education specialists at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, the Solid Waste Authority is a local government agency that was created in 1975 to um, manage all of Palm Beach County's waste. So that would include your garbage, your recycling, your bio, um, biosolids, and your home chemicals. So again, garbage, recycling, biosolids, and your home chemicals. And in our county, in Palm Beach County, we have about 1.4 million people that live here. And on average, each one of us makes about 12 pounds of solid waste. So if you do that math, if you take the 1.4 million people and you multiply it by 12 pounds, at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County, we get almost 17 million pounds of waste per day. 17 million pounds. That would be a football field piled up to 27 feet high, which is almost as high as the goalpost. Okay, so we have to have a lot of unique and efficient ways to manage that waste. And today, as I'm reading the story, you guys will find out a little bit more about those different unique ways that I manage the waste at Palm Beach County or how we do it rather. So if we're ready, I'm going to get started with our story. Again, hi, I'm Dawn Perez, one of the education specialists at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County. So we're going to get started. This book is called The Great Trash Bash by Laureen Leedy. To trash bashers everywhere. There are rolling hills and wiggly roads and shady trees in Beeston. It is a home to any animal that can run, fly, or swim. But something's wrong. Can you guys guess from the picture what might be wrong in this town? I think I know, but let's see. The mayor is searching for an answer. I can't figure out what's wrong in Beeston. We have lovely houses and parks. He talks to the citizens wherever he goes. We have such fine restaurants and stores. What do you think is wrong with our town? I don't know. My new sweater looks good and my new dress and my, I'm going to throw away my old clothes. Hmm, I think I'm getting a picture of what might be wrong, guys. Look at what's on the ground and look what he's doing there. We fix all the potholes in the roads. Why do I get this feeling that something isn't quite right? Uh-oh, look at this sign. Warning, no swimming here, polluted water. Uh-oh. At last, Mayor Hippo finds the answer. Whoa! Now I know, Beeson has way too much trash. Look, he slipped on a banana peel. So if you guys were seeing all that litter on the ground and the trash, you're right. That was the problem in Beeson, right? Let's see what happens next. To find out more about trash, the mayor goes to the dump. This dump is smelly and an ugly mess. It's easy and cheap just to throw things here. Now at the Solid Waste Authority, we don't have a dump. This is a picture of their dump, but at the Solid Waste Authority, we have what's called a sanitary landfill. So that means that we have different um, layers of protective soil, as well as layers of liners that are protective plastic, and we collect garbage juice so that that doesn't get into the environment. But in a dump, they don't do that. They just dig a hole and put all this stuff in it. 
And so it's not good for the environment, okay? So at the Solid Waste Authority, we have sanitary landfills. We don't have a dump. All right, next, he visits the incinerator. The incinerator burns trash and makes energy. It makes air pollution too. Uh-oh. Well, at the Solid Waste Authority, we have an incinerator too. Um, it's called our renewable energy facilities. We have two of them and we actually burn the garbage in Palm Beach County and turn it into electricity. However, we don't have air pollution like this because we have some really high tech pollution control systems to pull out those chemicals. So if you ever drive past the Solid Waste Authority and um, past our renewable energy facilities on North Jog Road, you'll notice that we don't have dark smoke like this. It's actually white or clear. And that's because we're pulling out all of those chemicals that could be harmful to the environment. The landfill is the last stop. It seems awful to spread trash over the land. What will happen when this landfill is full? We'll cover the trash with dirt and plant trees to make a park. But where will we put our trash then? I don't know. We have to do something fast. So again, at the Solid Waste Authority, we have sanitary landfills. And back in the 80s, we only had uh, one renewable energy facility. So we were burning only about half of the garbage we were getting and we were landfilling the other half, which meant that our landfills were gonna be full by this year, 2020. So that's actually why we created our second renewable energy facility. And now that we have that one, we burn about 93% of the garbage we get and we only landfill about 7% which means we've extended the life of our landfill by about 25 years. Our, our landfills in West Palm Beach and in Palm Beach County shouldn't be full till about 2053 now. Oh, and by the way, we make parks and golf courses out of our old landfills too. All right, Mayo Hippo, Mayor Hippo calls a town meeting. What can we do to solve Beeston's trash problem? Dump the trash in the next town. They don't want it either. Dump it in the ocean. That pollutes the water. Blast it to the moon. I don't think that's a good idea either. Let's have a trash bash and clean up this town. Yeah, let's do it. At the meeting, the animals think of ways to solve the trash problem. They start to make changes in their everyday life. Let's make less trash. Look at these fancy packages. Soon they'll just be fancy trash. We can buy in bulk instead. We'll scoop the food into plain paper bags. I only buy returnable bottles. I use the same bags over again instead of throwing them out. No thanks, I don't need a bag. Now guys, what they're discussing is one of the important R's. I'm sure you guys have heard of the three R's before. Well, one of them is to reduce. And reduced waste means to make less, right? So he's saying, let's make less trash. So that's one of our important R's, pretty much the most important one, to reduce our waste. Citizens take out their tools. Let's fix the old instead of buying the new. And that's another good example of one of our R's, which is reuse and repair. So if you repair things, you can reuse them, right? They start to clean up Beeston. Let's stop littering. 
Those things are dangerous. Uh-oh, look at that. That goose is caught on one of those six rings that come on soda. What should we do with those? When we get those, we should cut them up and put them in the garbage, right? We should definitely cut them up so they don't get stuck on animals and put them in the garbage. We're in Palm Beach County. It's going to be burned and turned into clean electricity. They even find some good uses for trash. Let's recycle it. New metal from old cans, new glass from old jars, new paper from old newspapers. That's another one of our important R's, which is recycle. And at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County, we always encourage you to recycle right by separating your recycling into those blue and yellow bins. And what we do at our recover materials processing facility is we actually sort that recycling even further, crush it into these big cubes called bales and sell it to a company that turns it into something new. These food scraps will turn into the soil into the compost bin. I'm sorry, these food scraps will turn into soil in the compost bin. So they're composting, which is another good thing you guys can do at home. Soon, the town opens a recycling center. Welcome! Where did you get the wood to build this? It's recycled. So again, we have our recovered materials processing facility, and that's where we take your recyclables, we sort them further, we squish them into cubes, and we sell them to companies that make it into something new. In the recycling center, the trash is sorted out. What happens to this stuff now? We sell it to companies that use it to make new products. Life is looking a lot better. Let's celebrate. These party supplies are made from recycled paper. So I like how this animal here, this little mouse, is rethinking its waste. Instead of getting party supplies that were made out of new paper or plastics or something like that, they're actually getting party supplies that are made out of recycled paper. So they're buying recycled products, which is awesome. Welcome to Beeston. There are rolling hills and wiggly roads and shady trees in Beeston. It is a home to any animal that can run, fly, or swim. Beeston is a beautiful place. And now I think it is. Let's take a look. Look at it, guys. It's so much better. There's no litter. There's no pollution. They really did a good job in cleaning up Beeston. So what can we do? What can we do so that we don't um, have litter and, and lots of garbage? Well, we can keep the four R's in mind. We talked about some of these today during the book, reduce, reuse, recycle. And at the Solid Waste Authority, we added rethink because every time you go to throw something out or you go to buy something at the grocery store or a store, you can think, rethink about your waste. You can do some of these things, which I'm gonna read to you now. Here are some ideas for cutting down on your trash and your waste. One, use dishes instead of disposable cups and plates. Two, keep junk mail for scrap paper. Three, buy products made from recycled materials. Four, avoid buying products with several layers of packaging. Five, repair broken items instead of buying new ones. Six, 
buy beverages in returnable bottles. Seven, reuse a large envelope by attaching a new address label. Eight, save glass, metal, paper, cartons, and plastic to recycle. Nine, pick up litter on roadsides. 10, encourage parents to use cloth diapers. Disposable diapers fill up landfills. 11, donate extra clothes and toys to charity. 12, buy new products only if you really need them. And 13, don't waste paper, right on both sides. All right, so that is the end of our story, The Great Trash Bash. Um, once again, my name is Dawn Perez and I'm one of the education specialists at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this story and um, you really enjoyed it, please like and share this video. Also, just to let you know, every day, Monday through Fridays at 11 a.m., we will be doing Facebook Live videos. Some of our presentations are little snippets of our different facilities, and some of them are lessons or activities that we do with the students when they come on field trips. Um, tomorrow's will be focusing on some recycling questions and facts. So definitely tune in at 11 a.m. tomorrow for that. Um, thank you for watching again and have a great day. Bye, everybody.